Alright, so I had this discussion with someone else on Facebook because on the topic of Anglo nationalists in these right wing spheres, this man I was talking with mentioned how Anglos are more likely to subscribe to the one drop rule meme. And that makes them more woke in some ways than a lot of other pro white groups. And I wanted to refute that to him because the one drop rule is a bad idea. It is a bad concept. Within its own context, you could see it as being good for a certain group. But now, the meme that it has become is quite harmful for us. And I feel as if we've lost potential supporters these past couple of years because of mimetic concepts like the one drop rule. One example of this is the fact that we have a lot of political enemies. Just look at Twitter of mostly white people who identify themselves as people of color. And I'm using that term a lot more now because it's pretty effective to reappropriate terms to use on political enemies like this. And I feel that's a very effective term to be turned around and reappropriated to groups like that in the political left, the internationalists. However, I see a lot of them on Twitter and they're talking about uh, their black interests and they're black like this. And that really seems ironic for me considering what I'm going to be talking about in my next video. However, make no mistake, this is a bad thing. I know that at one point, Richard Spencer said that homosexuality is the last bastion of white identity. And I understand that he meant that that was a sort of free pass that whites could still get. And within the time that he posted, that may be true, but we've seen from articles and sort of uh, social media nowadays that that isn't true in the slightest. Once gay marriage became legal, whites have gotten thrown out of these LGBT movements. For the most part, there's still exceptions. But they're not as revered as a sort of Ouroboros that is reformed in those circles. And we see that now that the last real bastion of white identity is identifying as a non white or person of color because you have a little sliver of black or brown which I reiterate, there is nothing wrong with that. Remember that university conference that Richard Spencer and Mike Enoch were in, where one of the females who asked Spencer a question was like, do I count as black enough, white enough for you? I have a small percentage of black in me. Would I be a voice in your movement or something like that? And Spencer said, you seem pretty white to me. And then Mike Enoch had a pretty interesting retort to that. It was like, why is it always who's white enough? Would you tell a black person, are you black enough? Why is it always whites that is like, are you white enough? That is a very interesting retort to the one drop rule meme how it seems to be exclusively used as a sort of disqualifier for your own whiteness. And it's a very contradictory tactic from a lot of the memes we usually see among normies. This has been your boy Mr. Marcus 7. And I think I'm done talking because if I keep fucking around I'm going to be late for work. And I got movie night tonight so I want to Stay in motion. So, suck my dick.